Okay, guys and girls, it is the merry, merry month of May, and that means it's time to fertilize the lake. What you say, Jimmy, fertilize the lake? That's water. You don't fertilize water, you fertilize land. Well, here at the Eagle, we fertilize our lakes because that builds the food chain from the bottom up. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. But right now, we're doing the hardest job of all. <laughs> yeah, driving a mule is a hard job. No, no, the hardest job of all is to go up to the barn and load up 25 sacks of fertilizer. We'll explain that fertilizer once we get up there and why we do it and how we do it as we're doing it. But I'm gonna get Apache to help me. Normally, Chris is my boat driver. Normally, Chris is my boat driver, uh, but uh, she's not gonna be my boat driver this year. But I'm gonna get Apache to kind of help me and I'm gonna get to drive the boat. I'm gonna let Apache do the work. But the hardest work is loading up the 25 bags in the mule. We'll see you at the barn. They're the last trees on the ranch to leaf out fully. They're coming on strong. about the biggest job of all. Got to load up the deal. I'm going to take my snake catcher. I don't want it underneath everything. My snake catcher and a machete. And I'm going to lay those out and put those back in. And here goes the biggest job of all. Loading this stuff up. And we're going to put 25 bags in to begin with. 25 bags. We actually, we actually only, you only use about, you know, your first fertilization, you want to use about eight pounds per acre on, uh, on your, after that, about once every three or four weeks, you can get by just fine. You get by just fine using, using uh, four pounds an acre. So if you've got a little small pond, you're not going to really use too much of this at all. Now, we get it by the pallet from uh, Southeastern Pond Management. These people are out of Auburn and uh, Birmingham and Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, Birmingham, Alabama, Auburn, Alabama, and Jacksonville, Tennessee. It's called, it's just Pond Fertilizer, Sport Max, I think is what it is. Sport Max Pond Fertilizer. And... Uh, it's water soluble. You'll see as we dump it in. You'll see it as we dump it in the, in the lake that these are 25 pound bags. You'll see as we dump it in the lake how it dissolves instantly. It causes a little cloud. Now we basically have just been putting it in the upper end of the lake because the water's always flowing through this time of the year. And, and the, the water will, will carry, carry the fertilizer on down to the lower end of the lake. The problem we have right now is the lake is so low, the water is not flowing through. So, we, uh, I don't know if we need to drive down around the dam, dump a little bit, bit in it. I think I'm just gonna, put it in the upper end and let it flow down. So, all right, I'm gonna keep on working. I'll see y'all at the lake. We're gonna put a little tracker in, put a little tracker boat in, a little tracker classic. Put that boat in, fertilize out of the front of it. Okay, let's talk just a second before we get down in the water. It's just easier to do it than out on the lake because it's real windy today and we're using our smallest tractor we've got. And so 
We're gonna be able to go out there and, uh, and, and spread this out. I've got about 25 bags in here. Uh, recommended is four pounds per surface acre. So if you've got a, a five acre pond, if you've got a five acre pond, you're gonna be able to, really this'll, you, you need about 20 pounds. So like a six acre pond, we we'll use about one bag a month is what you'll use in there. So you start out in May, May, June, July, August, September. You can fertilize it October if you want. I know some guys that's got private lakes that fertilize every single month all year long. We don't do it. We start in May and we run through and sometimes we fertilize in October, some not. Once you get an algae bloom going, it continues pretty well all summer. And uh, you don't have to use any platforms, anything. There's no mixing. All you do is we cut the top of it with a pair of scissors, simply dump it in the water. We drive around out there in a boat, dump it in the water. That's all we do. The hardest part of this job is loading it. Like getting it to the barn, loading it into the mule, carrying it down here, putting it in a boat. It's from Southeastern Pond Management, which is a, a, a firm down there that does that manages private lakes. They manage over a thousand private lakes in the Southeast. They're out of Birmingham, Alabama, Auburn, and uh, Jackson, Tennessee. And uh, we get it actually by the pallet because we got two pretty good pieces of water and we, we manage, we, uh, we put them in all the time. Um, we, like I said, we put it in about once a month, we, but we do that every single year. It grows plankton and phytoplankton, which are little tiny organisms that your really tiny fish feed on, grows the food chain from the bottom up. So you've got a food chain that is good, no matter if a fish is a little tiny fish like this or it's a 10 pounder, you're building that food chain all the way to the top. Here's one of the cool things of it. I saw it on here somewhere. Increases fish production by three to four times. If you do nothing else to your private pond or lake, if you do nothing else, fertilize. Now, I add crawfish, I add shad, I add tilapia. I do it all. But if you do nothing else, fertilize, it will increase your fish production by three to four times. Let's get out on the water and put this stuff in. Okay, here we go. And this is all you do to fertilize your lake right here. Patsy is uh, taking the scissors and cut off the top of that bag. And that's all we do right there. And we just pour it down as the boat moves along real slowly. And he just, just dumps it in. Just go ahead and dump it, Patsy. Dump it, just go ahead and dump her out of there, the whole thing. And we dump her out like that, and we just simply drive around. Now, we used to, yeah, I, I, I'll put it down here if you want. We used to, <clears throat> we used to drive around the entire lake. We'd drive down by the dam, we'd drive up into pockets, and but we finally, because the water's running through this thing most of the time, we finally just did the upper end up here in this great big giant flap. Now what will happen, and our grass is higher now than it's ever been this time of the year because the lake is down lower. The grass, I believe, is the same height as it normally is in May, 1st of May, but the water's just a lot lower. And so, so we've got a, a situation where we've got, got grass going up, clear up to the top. Now what will happen after we fertilize, and this will happen, your, your fertilizer is fertilizer, and it fertilizes grass just like it does everything else, and this is meant to create a, an algae broom. We're not trying to grow taller water. <laughs> that don't work. Uh, it's not like when you're fertilizing your garden or fertilizing your field, but it will affect the grass in here, so it'll make the grass even worse for a short period of time. Uh, in fact, if this grass was not grown up to the top, it would do this after we fertilize. It would grow all the way up to the top. First time we did it, Chris jumped onto me big time. She said, you ruined the lake. You took away 30 or 40 acres of fishing water, now we can't even fish it. It's all covered in moss. And, uh, but I told her, I said, honey, don't worry. I said, as soon as that algae bloom happens and it changes the water color and the water color gets dingier and it's not quite so clear, it's gonna take the sun off of that grass. And when it takes the sun off of it, it'll start backing back down and it'll start backing down lower and it'll get to where it's just growing down close to the bottom and that's all. And she said, are you sure? And I told her, well, I'm not. 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure. And uh, so she said, uh, she said, well, we'll see. And uh, exactly, it happened exactly like I had planned, exactly. The grass, the watercolor got some uh, color in it. It'll turn kind of a green tint. I've seen guys fertilize their private lake so much that it looks like pea soup. Looks like pea soup, just green, milky looking. And we don't do that much. We want some clarity. You need to be able to see about 12 to 18 inches down. If you can see 12 to 18 inches down, you're fine. You got a good algae bloom going. You can take a spotlight or a light at night and hold it down to the water at night, and you'll see just millions and billions of, hundreds of billions of these little plankton and phytoplankton flashing in your lights. And, uh, and that's exactly 
you know, that's exactly what you want. And those tiny living organisms are what the tiny, tiny fish eat. And when they do that, you've got hundreds of thousands. You know, a bass, when she spawns, will have about over 100,000 eggs, 100,000 babies. And now not that many of them live to be adults. Now we have a better success right here because we fertilize, we've got all this grass. All right, we're gonna change directions. We wanna keep the wind blowing away from the boat as much as we can. So I'm gonna turn around and we're, we're simply gonna go right back down just the way we've done. Apache's gonna move over to the other side and dump it over on that side. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing. This is all there is to fertilizing your lake. It's a, it's a chore that doesn't take much time. You ready? Go ahead and go anytime you want. And uh, you just need a, and you can, you can actually, I don't know, and I, you could probably just come out here and dump it all in one place and it would work. I don't do that. Uh, but I know that we just put it in this upper end and it, it permeates the entire lake. The entire lake's fertilized. We just drive around slow is all we do. And uh, up here in this upper end. Now, a lot of times, Keep this in mind, you won't get an algae bloom the very first time you fertilize. Because if you, if you, maybe you never fertilized your lake before, or like we do, we haven't fertilized it since last September, last October. So it's been a long period of time, so it takes quite a bit to create an algae bloom. Now it seems to me like we've got a little bit of a green tint to the water already, so we may have a little bit of just natural algae bloom going. That's all, we'll pick it up, we'll pick it up, we'll pick it up, we'll pick it up. It won't sink, we'll pick it up. We'll pick that bag up. We'll circle back around and pick it up. The one thing we want to do, because the wind's blowing really hard today, like it seemed like it's done every day all year. But we're down here, once you get down the lake, you got that big mountain there on the south side, and that really protects you from the wind when you're fishing, really protects you when you're doing this right here. It makes it a lot better situation. Okay, guys and girls, that job is done. We go find another job to do here on the Eagle. I told Apache, you know, I'd, uh, this is an easy job. This is the first time Apache has ever been in a boat. He's been in a little paddle boat, he said, but he'd never been in one with a motor. So you know what I need to do, Apache? I need to take you out there in my ranger boat, let you see what it feels like to go 75 miles an hour. Okay. Are you a good swimmer? Not that good. <laughs> Well, we put a life jacket on when we run that big motor. We don't ride. We don't. We don't ride them fast like that without a life jacket on. Anytime we crank that big motor up, we put a we put a life jacket on. So uh, anyway, I hear a goose talking to us. If you do nothing else to your private pond or your private lake, uh, if you do nothing else, fertilize. Now, yes, tilapia help, crawfish help, shad help, bluegill help. But when you fertilize, you help all species of fish the bait fish all the way up to the largemouth bass, and it's a simple, easy way to do. For a 130 acre lake like we've got right here, it takes quite a bit of fertilizer, granted. I put in 25 pounds at first, 15 pounds every month or so after that, all the way up through October. If you just got an acre or two, you're only gonna need one or two or three bags to do your entire year. And you will notice a huge difference in the quantity and the quality of your fish. Guys and girls, Remember, I sure do love you.